Uh, we've been talking about this all day in the newsroom, trying to decide what have you heard, Yanny or Laurel? Uh, so we want to know what you think. Nick Jones explains why you may hear one thing or the other. Take a listen. Why don't you take a seat real quick and give this a listen? What word do you hear from this? Laurel. 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 Some say it's Laurel. Others say it's Yanny. Either way, it's driving all of us crazy. This tweet from Chloe Feldman on Monday has caused a social media firestorm. Quite honestly, it's strangely similar to the black and blue or gold and white dress debate that took over our news feeds a few years back. All of us are arguing with each other about what's right or wrong. How can we look at the same picture or listen to the same exact thing and think it's something different from what our friends think? We perceive information and we need to make sense out of it. Amita Moore is a psychology professor at USC. He says a person's experiences can help determine what they see or hear. And it can also be the physiological properties of our hearing system. So the shape of everybody's ears is different. There are minute differences in how each of us actually perceives different sounds. The audio quality isn't great and Amor believes it can impact if you think it's Yanny or Laurel. Yanny. The professor explained that although the words may sound completely different to you, the acoustics of the word are quite similar. He says some people on the internet can manipulate the sound of it too. If you take that ambiguous word and kind of filter out the high frequencies, uh, then you hear a very clear laurel. If you filter out the low frequency, then you hear yanny. While there's not a clear answer of what the word is in the recording, I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Or, I guess, how you hear it. Laurel. Laurel. Yanny. I guess we gotta do some of the filtering and filter out the high frequencies so that you and I can hear mm. Yanny.